What's going on, YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And I've got a small video for you guys today. This company reached out to me through my email address that's posted on my main profile, and they asked me to review this product. And I was like, sure, why not? This small thing does a whole lot of stuff. Not only you can plug a flash drive into port B and listen through it to your car FM radio because it has a built-in transmitter, but it also tells you the voltage of your vehicle it can charge up a phone. It's got up to 3.4 amps altogether. It's got so much different things. You can look at the specifications there and pause that and read it if you need to see more about it. But we're going to pay attention mostly to the back. It's Bluetooth. So you sync your phone up to it through Bluetooth and then it spits out an FM signal to your car, which is awesome. So if you drop, if like me, if you have a little Ford Ranger that only has an FM radio and the tape deck on it's broken <laughs> and you only have one little, you know, cigarette lighter. My car only has one cigarette lighter, so now I can charge my wife and I's phone, and I can sync my phone up to this little guy, and this little guy will spit it out to the FM radio in my car. FM transmitter, hands-free, it's got a built-in freaking microphone. It's 5 volts, 3.4 amps dual USB charging, supports a USB flash drive up to 32 gigs, and it has a voltage LED monitor, so you can see some more information there at the bottom. Just a whole lot of different things. It supports the last call redial. So if you're trying to win a contest, just keep hitting that button. It'll keep redialing the last number you called. <laughs> and then if you get a busy signal, just hit the redial button. <laughs> this thing does a whole lot of stuff. So let's go ahead and check it out. At the end of the video, I'm going to include a short clip of it in my car. I'm going to go ahead and set it up indoors here. So here it is. It's a big guy. He's, he's quite big. There's the little microphone right there. That's pretty freaking crazy. And just a little holder for it and some instructions, which we won't read unless we get lost. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take this and plug it into the 12-volt port on here. Turn it on. And we've got a little signal here. So it's showing we have 12.6 volts, which is interesting, and it's spitting out that station. So let's go ahead and just rotate this. Oh, so it goes left and it goes right. We might need to read this book. No, no, we don't. <laughs> so there we go. You can change the station. Can you go forward? Just get right to the very end. Yeah, okay, you can. So usually I said it's like 88.5 or something. So hold it. And now it's saved. Now it's spitting out their Bluetooth. We'll open up the Bluetooth on our phone here. Under available devices, I see this one right here, which is new and different. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to that. And it looks like it's staying solid now. Cool. So it's connected for call and media audio, uh, which you can also go in here if you have like Samsung and other phones support it too. And say you don't want your media to go through, but just your calls. Or say you want your calls to go through your phone, but just the music to go through here. So you can go ahead and change all that. All right, so this is a weird demonstration of this, but we got the music paired up through here. And then we've got the FM mode on this little Bluetooth speaker. FM mode. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up in my car, and I'll be back. All right, so we're in our car. I'm using my Note 5 to record this. Oddly enough, I'm using open camera and saving this to a USB flash drive, and it should be in 4K. So here we go. We got our little Think Geek here. We got this one little port down here, so we go ahead and plug that in. And then the little light will come on. It says hi. And it shows the voltage of the car. So let's go ahead and it's in Bluetooth mode. Let's go ahead and open up Bluetooth on our phone here. And we disconnected it from my other phone. So there we go. The BTC27A. It's connected. So let's see what options we have here. We can use for contact sharing, media, and audio. So let's go ahead and hit OK. And now we're synced up to it. Let's go ahead and change the station on here to something way lower. So you can go ahead and just hold it, and it will quickly get to the station you want. So 88.5. Let's do 88.5, and then we'll hold it to save it. And then we'll go to our radio here, and we will go to 
88.5. This does not have Bluetooth. This is a almost 10 year old car now, uh, SUV. So 88.5 does have something playing. 88.7 is blank. So let's change it to 88.7 by holding it, flicking it twice, holding it. Now it's an empty clean station because I'm not playing anything. So now we're gonna go ahead and open up our Google Play music app in here. And now, let's go ahead and hit play. Yeah, yeah. What do you have? Mustang. So this is pretty cool. I can go ahead and charge my phone up with one of those ports while I'm playing this. I can also hook a USB flash drive into port B on here and it will spit that through the stereo in my car through the FM transmitter. So that's pretty cool. And in my car, it's like turn it like this a little bit, so it'd be a little bit backwards on the display. Be kind of cool if it uh. Be kind of cool if it knew that and it rotated, you know, in that direction that your car is. So let's go ahead and hit this one. So we'll do it again, and it changes the uh, song on here. Eminem kills it in this song. He just keeps going and he doesn't stop. No matter how old that dude gets, he can still freaking just keep going and going and going. Go left to go up because it's backwards and it'll keep flipping through these songs. Do I recommend this thing so far? Hell yeah. Am I going to show you the price? No. Prices change and fluctuate. If you watch this video eight months from now, this device could be $10. I believe right now it's about $15 to $16. Don't quote me on that. I will have a link in the description if you want to purchase one for yourself. If you enjoyed the video on this little guy, please give the video a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button and there should be a little bell icon next to it. If you click that, you'll get emailed every time I upload a new video. I'm having trouble keeping up with the latest devices. If you wanna help out with that, there'll be a couple links in the description to assist me with that. One of them being Amazon affiliates. If you click the link and save it as your Amazon bookmark, you will actually be giving me a little bit of kickback and I'll be able to make more videos for the channel. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you're not doing so already. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.